Welcome to part 3 of the demonstration using ZOS Connect Enterprise Edition to create REST APIs from a COBOL batch application. In this portion of the demonstration, we'll use the Eclipse-based IBM ZOS Connect EE API Editor to deploy, test, and dynamically update our APIs, which we created in parts 1 and 2. To recap, in part 1, we looked at the COBOL application source code and COBOL copybook data structures of our batch application and we use the BAQ LS to JS utility to create the necessary artifacts used at runtime by our ZOS Connect EE server to perform the JSON to native COBOL data structure mapping. Then in part two, we use the COBOL service archive file to create and customize our API using the ZOS Connect EE API editor. For part three of the demo, we'll deploy, test, and update our API to a ZOS Connect EE server running on our ZOS system using the capabilities of the Eclipse-based API editor. To deploy our API, we start in the ZOS Connect EE perspective and add a connection to our ZOS Connect server in the Host Connections tab. We specify the name of our server, the host, and port, which if you recall from part 1 was set to 9080 in our server XML file. When prompted for a user ID and password to connect to our server, this again was specified in our server XML file in the basic registry section. Once connected, we should see a green dot next to our server in the Host Connections tab, and it should be listed in the ZOS Connect EE Servers tab as well, without any APIs deployed yet. So let's deploy our API, which we do by right-clicking on our API project, selecting ZOS Connect EE, and Deploy API to Server. Once we get the All APIs were successfully deployed message, we should see our COBOL service API under the APIs folder of Server 1 in the ZOS Connect Servers tab. To test our API, we'll use the built-in Swagger User Interface tool, which we open by right-clicking on our API and selecting Open in Swagger UI. If I click on List Operations, I can see the four methods we've defined for our API. So let's start with creating a new employee record by clicking on our Post method and scrolling down to the Parameter section. I click in the example value section for the post COBOL service request, the JSON body for our request gets populated with some sample JSON data, which I can then update, changing string to something meaningful. So I'll type in values for email, employee ID, remarks, employee name, and phone. Once I have everything set, I click try it out. I should get a response body back showing that a record was added. I can test an HTTP GET method invocation of my API really easily since I don't require any JSON data in the HTTP message body to call it, just a simple HTTP GET will do. I just click GET and try it out. And I can see the values I just used to create my employee record when I call the API with a post. You'll notice I don't specify which employee record to get, that's because our COBOL batch application doesn't write to a database or file. It simply keeps track of a single employee record in memory which I can update and retrieve using these APIs. Next we'll look at how easy it is to dynamically update an API running in a ZOS Connect EE server. Say we want to change our API to remove one of the fields we send back in a GET. Maybe the employee ID field is now confidential so we can't include that in our response for an HTTP GET request for employee details. To do that we go back to the API editor and open the response mapping for a GET. And we can select our employee ID field and add a remove transformation. While we're here, let's also update the version indicator in the API description section. We'll save our changes. And we can redeploy our API project by following the same steps. We right click on our COBOL service API project, select deploy, Check Update Existing APIs and OK. Now when we go back to our Swagger UI and try it out, we can see that the Employee ID field is no longer in the HTTP response sent back to the client. This concludes the demonstration of using ZOS Connect Enterprise Edition to create REST APIs from a COBOL batch application. The COBOL source code used in this demo is available in the GitHub repository at the URL shown, and the documentation for installing and configuring ZOS Connect Enterprise Edition is available in the Knowledge Center.